TIFU by selling a prized possession during a moment of panic. Like many people 2023-2024 has not been kind to my husband and I. He lost his job due to layoffs January of 2023 and has been doing nothing but job hunting since. He has made it to several final rounds of interviews only to have something go wrong at the last minute. Budget cuts. Other candidates. Even one time where a natural disaster destroyed the office of the company he was applying for. I don't make enough to keep us afloat. I was fired from my dream job and while I have been lucky enough to find something it doesn't pay as much. We've been steadily burning through our savings and today I checked to see that I only have $200 left. The utilities are auto-drafted from my account. Even if that covers bills we will have no money left for food. I've never been this poor before. I panicked. Having sold most of my stuff already I scoured the house for something I could sell for quick cash. Eventually I resigned myself to sell my old Midnight Purple 3DS. A childhood gift from my father. And Animal Crossing New Leaf game. This game was a gift my husband gave me when we first started dating. I needed to move away for several months to attend trade school and we used the game to visit each other. I had been growing and cultivating this tiny village for over seven years. It was a second home to me. All the characters greeted me with smiles and the promise that tomorrow would be something worth getting excited for. It was my comfort in dark times. A reminder of the amazing man who loves me. I foolishly wiped the data before taking it to the store. Both the system and the game. I knew the game wasn't highly sought after but I stupidly assumed that because the system was a rare color I'd at least get $100. Enough to buy food and keep the lights on. I was wrong. I barely got $50. I had destroyed almost a decade of work. Hours of love and care poured into a game that basically represented my most important relationship. For $50 not even enough to buy food the worst part being i couldn't take it back because the data was already gone i quietly accepted the cash and went home only to break down crying in my kitchen i was so stupid the trade was completely not worth what i had sacrificed my husband came to comfort me and i had to tell him what i had done he was hurt and angry that i hadn't talked to him about it first in his eyes me selling the game he had given me was like be throwing away our whole relationship. That I was giving up. That he had failed. I was trying to collect some quick cash to keep us going. Instead I destroyed something that meant the world to both of us. I destroyed his will to keep going. I took away one of the few things I had left to get me through this dark time. The worst part is that I didn't even get enough money to solve our immediate problem. And there is no way to get back what I sold. TLDR. I sold a video game that held enormous sentimental value for grocery money. In my stupidity I erased the data before finding out how much I'd get for it. Defiantly didn't get enough to be even remotely worth it. Even if that covers bills we will have no money left for food. I've never been this poor before. Other people have supportive comments about gig work. But food you can solve. Look in your local subreddits. Find food pantries. Being fed is something you can and should take care of even if you have no money coming in. There is no shame in looking for these resources when you are not homeless. They are meant to provide and prevent homelessness. Visit our poverty finance. You are currently stressed to hell. I know. But they have tons of good advice. Especially in regards to securing your housing first there are tips about calling your landlord, bank and either getting temporary reductions or extensions. Pay your rent, mortgage first call and politely ask every single place you pay money about forgiving late fees, moving due dates, payment plans, etc. Calories are cheap. There are churches food pantries, community events, subreddits for food assistance exist. 
Like our random acts of pizza there's also lasagna love. Your account has enough age and karma to qualify for assistance subreddits. I recommend you look into them. Be wary of scammers and follow sub rules. You did not do the wrong thing selling what you could. You and your husband are in a very stressful time. You are strong and you can survive. You did what you felt you needed to do for your family. There's nothing wrong with that. As for the 3DS, I know it holds a lot of sentimental value to you. But those memories and experiences will always stay with you. Even if the plastic and circuitry of the 3DS is gone. Moving forward. Have you both considered gig work? Not sure where you are located. But stuff like DoorDash, Instacart, or even online services for writing are all ways to supplement and keep money coming in without steady employment. It's going to take some work. And it's not ideal. But it will keep you going until things work out. And once things do work out and you both get back on your feet, maybe go buy another 3DS, a new copy of AN, and start making some new memories. It won't be the same as before, obviously, but it will be the start of the next chapter, so to speak. I wish you all the best. I wish I could give you a dad hug right now. I'm so sorry this happened. I swirled the drain like this in 2008-2009. Lost nearly everything. My advice. Let it go. I held on to a cherished violin until the end. And it just got ruined later on. I should have just sold it when I needed the money. If you held on to the DS. Eventually the electronics would have failed. And it would have sat in a closet collecting dust until kingdom come. Nothing lasts forever. That's $50 you need to live right now. You can buy another one when times are better. And start again. Now is not the time to be sentimental. I don't think you understand how bad of a predicament you're in. If you feel the need to panic sell things and downsizing due to financial ruin. Then not doing so would be the FU. Going further. Is there a 401k or IRA you can take hardship withdrawals from to survive? Are you ready to pawn your wedding rings and everything else you hold dear? Have you cut all the streaming services cable? Are you ready to load up and then abandon your credit cards except the 7 year credit score hit? Whether you like it or not. Having been through this before. Stay together. Throw away the sentiment and stick to cold logic. Sell everything to keep the lights on and the belly full. And play whatever financial games you need to. Fun with card balance transfers. Not paying certain bills that doesn't affect eating and sleeping. Etc. To keep the ball rolling. You can and will pick up the pieces later. That being said, you could have got more for it. You should really consult with your spouse before making any major decision. And that goes for anything. Live and learn. Colleges are typically great employers he may already be doing this but if I were him I would. Apply to every job there he is remotely qualified for. Fucking GameStop. For richer and poorer. In sickness and health. I'm not sure everyone listens to the vows. Remind your husband you love him and you both vowed to fight together. You are in a tough one right now but the bell will ring. The trick is to still be standing when the bell rings. Sell what you need to. Do what you need to but fight. Damn I feel this one and I wish you the best I recommend you show him this post so he can see your point of view wasn't to destroy faith but you were trying to help. I hope you both find a way through this and also find another game to bond over. I wouldn't say a foo. When things come to extremes these are material possessions and you needed food. The memories will be with you forever and you can always make new ones going forward. I wish you luck in this hard time. The economy in America is a bit crazy I hear. As for your husband being hurt and angry. It seems there was not much choice and you made the logical decision. He should be supporting and understanding. 
Try not to be too hard on yourself. The Jan of 2023 was over a year ago. Has he been trying to get a job the whole time? I surely hope not. Every store in my town is hiring so he should have at least found something to make a little money. While searching for better jobs. It hurts. And it hurt to read too. But. Things can be replaced. Things can be lost the love that you two have. And shared with these things. Is what is most valuable. It's painful to let go of things sometimes. Yes. Because of the memories they are attached to don't forget. It's not the other way around. The things are attached to the memories. Which you still have. The memories are not attached to the things. Those memories and feelings can stay with you far longer than those things ever could have. Even without having the physical item. Don't lose focus on why those things were so important in the first place your relationship. Which you still have. It's understandable for him to be hurt. And for you to hurt for it too but remind him that even if you two had nothing tangible left. The most important thing is that you have each other. I'd consult him about sentimental things moving forward. But it's also understandable that you. Or anyone else. Are not thinking perfectly in a stressful situation. As for the system itself. Well. If your dad knew you faced potentially suffering more. Or selling a piece of plastic. I don't think he'd be ashamed of your decision for a second. For being resourceful and putting survival above materialistic goods. Some people can't bring themselves to give up things. Even at the detriment of their survival. You're stronger than many. For that, don't give up. Damn, that really is a foo. I'm sorry for your loss. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.